Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a mukbang. It's been forever since we have done a mukbang and we have some vegan bacon. So I, we found this vegan bacon at Sprouts and I just wanted to try it. I don't know how it's going to go because it looks like an interesting, yeah, like, interesting. It doesn't look it just uh, amazing, it just looks interesting, yeah. But it's, I think it's tempeh and azuki beans and some other stuff. We'll give it a go. I also try to make pancakes, but I put mesquite flour in them, and for some reason they like really stuck to the pan. So we have yogurt parfaits that I made instead. Today I also wanted to just talk about starting an online business or YouTube channel because it's probably one of the most common questions or things that I get that you guys want me to talk about. So I figured that I would do it with Derek because we have obviously started a business together and he's starting a new business and we just have all these things going on. So that's what we're going to talk about today. There is a lot to talk about, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll just touch it's on a, the main it's like point. Where, it's like where to begin, I guess. We'll touch on the main <clears throat> point. So I think the biggest thing when you start an online business or a YouTube is like you have to find what is unique about you and focus on that because if you're just doing what everybody else is doing or even like copying what someone else is doing, which I'm very guilty of trying to do in the past because a lot of times I think when you start a YouTube or you start making videos, you just don't really know what to do. So you follow the, you know, the people that inspired you or you like the way that somebody does a video. So then you just kind of copy that format. That doesn't really work, but most of the biggest YouTubers that I know at least have something special about them, right? So like what's special about me is my weight loss journey. What's special about Mommy Tang is her mukbangs and Supreme Banana has her veganized thing. Ravana, you know, does videos in Spanish. There's Raw Alignment who's just had so many viral videos. I can't even count them. Mm -hmm. But like everybody that I know that's big on YouTube has something very unique and very special about them. So everyone has something special about them and something unique and everybody can make a living online and everybody should make a YouTube because everybody everybody can inspire somebody else. I always tell people that because they're like, what would you tell someone if they get started on YouTube? And it's like, just start making videos because everybody was inspired by somebody to go vegan. Mm -hmm. I know I was. So you can inspire somebody else. I think something that you also want to think about, like I made a video recently on my channel with our uh, headshot photographer, Peter. That's not bad. Did you try it? Yeah, it is actually pretty good. It's not too bad. I like it. And the title of the video is, Do What You Think Is Cool. And I think that that is a really important, like if you want to draw people into your life, you want to do something that is interesting. You want to do something that's cool. Mm -hmm. Instead of just... Doing what you think <clears throat> will make money. Or just living a boring life. So when I started my YouTube, it was like, my other channel about five years ago, I just thought it would be cool to live a very simple, minimal life, ride my bike around different, like bike uh, cycle tour around different countries and just really kind of like live a different life that would be interesting to other people. And obviously it's something that I wanted to do, but I thought that it was cool. And that continued with the tiny house build. Like I thought, man, that, that would be cool to build a tiny house and also document it on YouTube. So start thinking about like kind of what Hannah mentioned is like what's going to make you special, what's going to make what you're doing cool. Because you have to hold people's attention and you want yeah. people to really get engaged and to get um, invested in your YouTube channel and in your videos. I know I just went over just about a week ago without posting a video for an entire week and people were like sending me messages and even Hannah messages as well saying like we want Derek to post more videos. That's that's good feedback because you have people that are constantly thinking and expecting your videos. And it's because obviously like, you know, we've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube. So we've gotten good at it, mm. but we've also got like a really cool kind of story and a really cool life that people are really interested in what you see in the mainstream. Yeah. And a lot of people just, they just kind of get that inkling that, uh, they get that interest in what you're doing. And that's something that you really want to start to think about is how can I kind of differentiate myself from other people? How am I special? And how can I make it interesting? How can it be really cool? And how can I help other people? 
Absolutely. That's like the biggest thing. And you want to start thinking about how through, even if you don't think that you have anything of value to offer to people, just documenting your journey from whatever you're doing. People really love to connect with a journey. So that's why a lot of people have connected with Hannah on her weight loss journey. People connect with like the tiny house journey and um, developing our, you always do that. And developing, and like the journey of like developing our land and our property. It's all like this journey and this story that people can really follow. And that just, some like some people even mentioned that my YouTube channel is better than HDTV. Like, it's just more interesting for people to watch. And so I think that's, if you're, if you're wanting to get into social media, that's such an important thing, is that you want it, you want to be able to create engaging and compelling content so that people want to watch it. And when you start off at that baseline, where you're like, I want to create like compelling videos and engaging videos, then the videos that you do produce are going to be much better, and you're going to start thinking in a, in a different way. And those are really important things. Definitely when you're starting and you're kind of like, you know, maybe thinking and visualizing about what you want or thinking about the videos that you're going to make is, yeah, you really just want to do what you think is cool and go from there. I can't believe I fell off my shirt. I just feel like this is like one of my new favorite shirts. I have to soak it right now. One of the big things also that I think a lot of people struggle with with YouTube is they overthink it like they're just like oh, yeah. how am I gonna how am I gonna make my life interesting how am I gonna like help other people how am I gonna edit a video how am I gonna film it honestly like I just tell people start making videos and start putting them up and you'll figure it out editing and all that stuff will come with time and it just all comes with experience if you go back and watch any of our first videos they're terrible like terrible so don't expect your videos to be like Casey Neistat or something right off the bat. <clears throat> Absolutely, and I think I this is a lesson that you can learn from some certain YouTubers, like Casey Neistat, for example. Hannah just mentioned them. Some of his most biggest hitting videos were not videos that he shot with a really nice camera. They're videos that he shot on his phone with a simple point and shoot camera, like pretty well as basic as you can get. I don't even think it was in, it, it was probably in like 720p, which is, it is high def, but it's not even 10, it's not even 1080p. So, a lot of people, they use the, either the camera or their knowledge or skill of editing videos as basically a roadblock, but it's like, you just need to start, you'll, you'll figure it out, you just need to start doing it. And just start with one video, Talk about something that you're interested in, something that you think other people will feel that is valuable, and just talk about it on a video. Take the memory card, stick it in your computer, edit it, or do it on your phone. You can edit videos on your phone as well, mm. and then upload it to YouTube. And at least just get started. Get the ball rolling. Yeah. That's like the biggest thing with people is that they constantly doubt themselves, they talk themselves out of it, and it's like, just say, I'm going to make a video today. Today I'm going to make a video and upload it to YouTube. Like if that's something that you want to do. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. So it's a different way. I would say the biggest mistake that I see a lot of people also make is that they think that they're going to start YouTube and just make like, like be able to support themselves off of YouTube. We couldn't even support ourselves off of our YouTube income. Like if it came down to it, maybe we could. But like just, we could our, feed ourselves. just our ad revenue, we would not be able to do the things that we've done. And I think a lot of people think that youtubers make so much money i mean i think between both of our channels we make like five grand a month about that yeah which i mean to some people that might be a lot of money but when you've got big goals and aspirations yeah it's not that much and that's the other thing like if if i I mean, when I started my YouTube, I didn't know that what I was going to be doing. I didn't know, I had no idea that one day I would have five recipe books and be able to make this my business and then be coming out with a customizable meal planner and be inspiring to so many people and all this stuff. So think about YouTube kind of as a way to help people for free and to promote, it's like pay, it's free advertisement. Because people pay so much money to advertise on Facebook, on Instagram, even on YouTube, on the TV, whatever. It's literally like you're getting paid to kind of promote your products or yourself. I did a lot of sales when I was 
back in the day before my YouTube. And I um one of the biggest things that I learned in sales was that you don't you don't push sales on people. So if I mean you guys will rarely ever ever even hear us talk about our ebooks because we don't like we don't have a thing at the beginning of every video that's like, hey, check out my ebook or like at the end of every video. I'm my t shirts. I'm my ebook. We have a link and that's one of the things that I learned through um, sales training and marketing and stuff. It's like, you're basically selling yourself. Whatever you're selling, you are selling yourself. If somebody doesn't like you, they're not gonna buy anything from you. If they like you, they'll buy anything from you. On that same note, it's like, you wanna be able to find a way to help people, to give something of value, and it's like an equal value exchange. So what you're giving, you're getting back, and it's not just like, support me on Patreon, watch my You Now for five hours, and whatever you know like the only way that we make money is through youtube ad revenue through our ebooks through and we make a little bit of money on amazon but we don't have a patreon or you now or anything like that and i just don't think that you need to i think if you provide valuable products and that's kind of your goal when you start your youtube is like i'm gonna write an ebook for people who are recovering from or you know who are suffering from arthritis or f are trying to get off their type 2 diabetic meds or like there aren't really any ebooks out there about that stuff so that'd be something good you know or something different that's not just like a recipe book like we did <laughs> <laughs> ours but, are kind of focused around weight loss so you know what i'm saying so yeah <clears throat> this bacon is really good the bacon is actually pretty good it doesn't taste like bacon. I'm stumbling here. It does not taste like bacon. No, but I mean, somebody who the flavor is good. The flavor is good and the texture is good. But the texture is not like bacon at all. It's more like tempeh, like a thin mm. tempeh. It's like a smoky maple flavor. It's really good. I like it. I hope it didn't ruin my shirt. Mm. Some people run their business, like their online business, like our buddies our buddy uh, Neil and Whitney, like they don't have a social media presence like we do. Mm -hmm. They focus more so on the advertising aspect of it. So they advertise through Facebook and Instagram to promote the products that they've created. And that's how they kind of do it. And that's a different way of doing it. There's pros and cons to each way. Like there's cons to starting a YouTube channel and to base that on your business, like to base that as a way to boost your business. Mm -hmm. But there's also a lot of pros as well. What's that? Free advertising. It's, yeah, it's like, it's paid advertising, but you're also trading time in order to make the videos. Whereas yeah. like you could set up an advertising program that would just work automatically. There's so much more to YouTube though than just like promoting your products. It's like, it's literally yeah. a community of people that I love that I get to connect with every time I make a video and like talk to you guys and share my life with you guys. Like, I don't even see it as a way to promote our products because like I said, we never say like, oh, here's my ebook, <laughs> you know, unless specifically I'm making something from an ebook, but yeah. yeah. And I think an important thing is that people want to get before they give. So you want to focus on giving as much free value and then that really kind of starts to bring people in. That comes back to you. Absolutely. So there's hundred, like Hannah, I don't know how many videos you have on your channel, probably 600. 600. On Life Inside a Box, I probably have like three or 400. And then on my other channel, I think I had another 400. So those are all just like free videos that we put out. We have a free weight loss cheat sheet. We have free recipes on our website. Um, you we can have get get Facebook groups. You can get everything from us for free, basically. Yeah. Like the thing with Lean and Clean. To, to a certain extent, yeah. Well, like with Lean and Clean, like you could get all of that. I even said this when it came out. I was like, you can get all of this for free on my channel because I've talked about it. It's just, you have to go through 600 videos, you know? <laughs> Whereas if you buy the book, it's like very concise, but it's like, we're not selling you anything like secretive. Like, oh, here's the secret. You know, mm. you gotta buy this to get the secret. It's like, no, it's all there. Yeah, just keep in mind that there's a lot of different ways of going about this. But the first thing is, is that you do want to start and posting yeah. on YouTube or learning more about how an online business works and going from there. Because people, I remember when we were at the last Bob Proctor event, I got known as like the YouTube guy, even though oh my God. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm more of like an off-grid homestead guy, not a YouTube guy. But no. everybody came up and asked me like, how do you, like, how do I edit a video? How do I make a video? It's like... 
You can't really tell it, if somebody how to do that. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, you just do it. Like, you just record a video, upload, put it on your computer, and then edit it. Yeah. But if someone is not even willing to f try to figure that out for themselves, and they keep asking that question, it's like, just go to Google yeah. and figure it out. Like, it's not that hard. It's a lot simpler than you think. There's people, like, an age is irrelevant in this as well. Someone who's a little bit older might have a little bit more of a learning curve to figure out how to use a computer and stuff, but... Yeah. Like, just, just do it. Mm -hmm. Like, just figure it out. Everything, like, everything that I want to do, including, like, all of the projects and stuff that I do, I find it on YouTube or Google. Like, yeah, me too. Like, that's where I go. And people are like, how do you do it? And I'm like, I just go on YouTube and Google and I figure it out. Like, mm -hmm. and I just read a lot of different stuff. And that's how, yeah. that's, that's how I do it. That's it's, the best way to do it, too, and not be dependent on somebody else. So, yeah, I think if there were three things that we could say that would sum up you know how to start a youtube channel or how to get an online business going like those would be it just figure out what makes you unique what you're passionate about what kind of message you want to spread how you want to help other people and just start doing it and figure it out as, as you go <laughs> and have like also have you know obviously a vision in mind of where you want it to go and how you could see it helping people and how down the road you could write ebooks or develop a program or a video course or anything, you know, to help people <clears throat> and just do it with like every passionate cell in your body. Cause it really is, it takes a lot of passion to do YouTube. <laughs> like you have to really love doing it. Like I wouldn't do it if it was just for money or something. It's just, it's a lot of work. Like people will say a lot of times like, Oh, you're just a YouTuber. Like find a real job. It's like, let's switch jobs for like a week or a yeah. month. Like, let's just see how you do. Cause yeah. Like, first of all, it is difficult because you have to be creative. Like, you, you have to be creative, you have to be knowledgeable, you have to learn editing, you have to be consistent, you have to, you know, have other things to promote, have something unique about you. There's just so much to it, and mm. anybody can do it. It's just you have to get going and start moving mm. in the direction that you want to go. It's like the same thing with weight loss. YouTube is like having a newborn baby and being like, what do I do? <laughs> And then you just kind of learn as you go. It's just like instinct and you just, I think every, the best videos that I've ever uploaded were ones where I just had like an inspired idea and I just sat down and made a video. Those are like my most viewed videos, mm. you know? So you also don't have to overthink the videos or copy anybody else. Just be like, I want to make a video about this and then just do it. Just make mm -hmm. it. Don't worry about the quality or whatever. It'll just come with time and you'll just get better and better and your audience will grow and Everything would be good. <clears throat> Persistence and consistency are some of the biggest important factors in for life. social media and in life in general. Like there are YouTube channels that I've seen who've gotten up to a significant number of subscribers, like 10,000. And you'd think to yourself, wow, that's a, that's a really good number. Like that's a lot of subscribers. I've seen so many of those people just drop off and stop making videos. There, there could be a multitude of reasons why they stop. It could be a life circumstance. They just can't take the the heat or the criticism from people online that's another yeah that's another that's, a, that's another big thing we could talk about this for probably a few days and make it into a seminar which wouldn't be a terrible idea but we'll make um, it into a 20 minute video <laughs> and stop pretty soon because Derek will keep talking forever yeah there, there's a lot of different things but like what Hannah mentioned is that you should really if, if you want to make a living on YouTube or on social media First thing that you want, one of the first things that you want to do is write down a number of how much money you want to make. You might think, well, I don't want to just do it for money. I don't, I don't really care. No, you, you want to think, how much money do I want to make? Because if you make a significant amount of money, then you can help more people. And you can extend the service of whatever it is that you're doing to many more people if you have a sustainable income. So think about that as well. Write it down, visualize how your life would look if you're doing what you wanted to do and if you're making that amount of money. Yeah. So those are our tips. I don't, I think my camera might cut out, but it might <clears> keep going. I don't know. So yeah, like we said, figure out what makes you, 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 <laughs> figure out what makes you unique. Do what you think is cool. Yeah. Be very passionate about it. Like know that you have to have a passion for this to do it. Like you have to, and then just start doing it and have some goals written down. Be persistent and consistent, and then have an idea of where you're going. 
Yeah. And that's it. But yeah, it really just does take a very consistent effort, a lot of passion, a lot of desire to help other people. And I mean, you have to be ballsy enough to put yourself out there on the internet as well and share your life with people mm -hmm. and take all, all the trolls and all the shit talkers and just laugh at them. So those are our tips. Let us know if you guys want more mukbangs or let us know if you hate these and we'll stop making them. I think it's great. I'm just, I'm just, I want my viewers to chime in. Okay. That's another good tip right there. Ask your viewers to leave a comment about yeah. something. So we will see you on the next video.